Hey, it's the Scott's Test Dummies, and we're headed to Japan. I'm Scott. Ooh, Bart here. We got yippee, 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 kaiyo. We're calling it kaiyo. Kaiyo. It's oh, Mizanara. Right. Mizanara. Let's Ooh. test it. We're going to test it. Terrible throat style. Mizanara style. <laughs> I know. You were like, terrible throat style. That's dumb. Why'd you say that? It's got this, it's like it's out of practice. It was all raspy. You gotta admit, bottle style looks great. Love the label. You love the label. Everything's nice. The Mizanara, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, just makes me want to drink it. Drink it. Japanese whiskey's hot. It's because it's good. And uh well, for the most part. I, I think don't know if I've had one some, yet though. There's, like, there's been a set there's the market has there's been an influx on the market and I've, there's some out there that aren't right. um holding up the standard of others. Sure. I would I love to see some more Yamazaki. I've got the 18 back here, and I've, there's a buddy of ours, Manchester. I've told him he can come over and try it. 612? I have the 613. So this is the cask strength Kayo. I love that. Yes, Kayo, assuming it's we're K saying it right. Yeah. K A I Y O with we're, a little line. I'm pretty over. sure we're wrong, America. We're wrong, I'm sure. 53% <laughs> ABV. I love that too. Now, I was thinking even before I did Sam, you got this for, was it Christmas? Yes. Wife gave it for you? I think so, yeah. And I'd sampled it. I thought it was a sherry cask one. So. But. It's not indicating that. Let's see what we get. So what's interesting on the nose, no. I know, it's you get that high proof in there, you gotta come in easy. But I definitely get like um, hints of cherry on the nose. Malty, cherry and vanilla. Malty for sure. <sighs> An oak, but sweeter, lighter Yeah, it's oak. a light, like uh, I would say a crisp oak. Which is weird. Generally, with Mizanara, you'll get like a sandalwood. I mean, it's going to be faint. Mm -hmm. We've had it before. The Yamazaki 18, it was really yes. there. Huh. This one, actually, I got a little bit of a, almost a little bit of youth there on the nose. Almost a little bit of white dog showing. Hmm. It is heavy on the nostrils, so though. you got to be careful. I felt a couple of nose hairs go right there. <laughs> Says it's unchill filtered. Ooh, that's good. Mmm. Got a little strawberry. Little little sweet fruit. Little sweet red fruit. I like that. Um, anything Ooh. else on here? I know. Osaka, Japan. Initially on the palate, I was getting what felt like a little bit of youth. Like, okay, this might be a little bit harsh. Mm, but... Once I swallowed it, that it wasn't there. It was gone. It's, it is. I mean, it's smoother. It's richer. It's definitely that Mizanara oak is there. Mm. It's caramely, like a drizzle. Yeah. Very nice. Um, for the fifty-three percent or fifty-five percent, fifty-three percent. It's very I'm doing nice. Two hefty drops. You want to drop? Let, let me try one more sip of it. Neat. Okay. One more sip neat, and then you're going to get a drop. <laughs> Boom. Got a little dropper, drop, dropper in there. You can get the dropper set at scotchtestdummies.com. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. That's nice. I still get on the palate, but when I have it, it, like, when it's sitting in my mouth and I'm kind of swishing it around and getting my gums and everything... I really sense like I'm getting some some of the youth that's in there, or maybe some of the unaged spirit showing. But as soon as you swallow, it's gone. You don't. I don't get. It. It's almost like it's a, maybe it's a little bit on the on the um, um, sense of the nose. Maybe I'm smelling a little bit of something like that. So tracking in reverse, the mouth feel after the initial swallow. That's when I get the coating of the mouth. The velvetiness moves around and it really hangs out on the sides of my palate. Mm -hmm. And it stays uh, creamy, um, gives me like a, a, 
a hint of a cream soda kind of flavor in the finish. Um, I'm with you. I'm going to have to see what's on the forefront because right, I get the caramels kind of mid palate. Is this still, it's, it's coming off a little young. It's, I'm, I still think I'm getting some of the, mm. it's a really young maltiness or grassiness. It's in there I get with some white dogs, some youth mm. sometimes. I definitely get the maltiness at the beginning, but I don't get it as young as much as malty. Boy. And, and all the wonderful, beautiful flavors to me come in the finish. The lingering, the mouthfeels in the finish. I get a little of that uh, caramel caramel uh, right mid-palate. Boy, this is really, really nice in the finish. So, yeah, I would definitely say I've got that malted barley, um, ooh, not quite lemongrass, but that kind of... That, that malted barley flavors on the forefront. I get a lot of the notes that you're getting. Still something of the maltiness or the, the barley is jumping out at me. Um, this really feels like it's on the cusp of just being, you know, another six months or a year in the cask might have gotten rid of this note that I'm getting. Does it have, I don't see any kind of age statement on it at all. Well, it looks like a non, looks right, non it's not. It's an NAS. So NAS is a non-age statement. I don't see anything on here saying how old it is. Now, of course, Japanese whiskey's hot. So uh, we talked a little bit before we went on. Well, no, we talked right mid-show. Um, you got a lot of different Japanese options coming out whiskey-wise. So um, it's a good NAS, though. I mean, I don't know if I'm picking up, and usually I can get a white dog. White dog's completely unaged whiskey where you can get the youth. If you had to put a number on it, how old do you think it is? You're better at that than me. I can't but Japan, Japanese whiskeys, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm going to say maybe three years old. I don't know what their minimum is. Probably, I think three years probably. Mm. It's probably barely mm. met it, I think. Four, three, four years old. I think I may have just picked up what you're talking about. I gave it a little heavy swish. And... Um, you know what it remind me is uh, the uh, how do you say it with that Irish uh, white dog's poutine? Oh yeah, poichin. Poichin, yeah, poichin, and it reminded me a little bit of that because it's almost like a touch of sour. Yeah, and I got that when I swished it real hard. I got a little touch of sour in there, and that would be exactly. It reminded me of that. I yeah. always say it wrong again. What's the Irish white dog? I think po I think po poichin. Poichin. Yeah. Poichin, poichin. I don't know. I don't know. There's an Irish fella or lass saying idiots. Dummies. Dummies. That's not how we say it. <laughs> it's not the mouth that comes out of it. It's the mind it goes into. That's what Ned always said. Yeah, Ned's good. Grace is mocking us right now, throwing stuff at the TV. You guys can't speak anything. This I'll tell you what, though. The Mizanar Oak has had a great influence on this, though. It really is present. But like I say, it feels like it's on the cusp of just turning the corner. Of being, I see what you're saying. Uh, that. Yeah, it's still very sweet and light and, and very approachable. Um I've added a couple of drops of water. I'm gonna Gosh, this one. finish is great. It does. I mean, it's got a nice palate. I love it in the finish. Uh, it's that very forefront where I've got maybe a little touch of the white dog. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Osaka. Hmm. Hmm. Changed on. I think no. Well, yeah, but I think it's better, stronger. Um, I think water's. Okay. Diluting it a little bit too take much. It, take it at that cast strength. Don't bring her down. To me, it's still great. I couldn't really get that white dog until I put a little water in there. I'm going to score this an 89. I think this is on the cusp of greatness. Um, it's solid. Um, ooh, look at this. We did a flip for flop. Yeah. Flip flop. Yes. That, 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 uh, the hint of that youth is turning me off. Hmm. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's really a, a, a balance. I mean, you do have some nice notes coming through with it, but it's hmm. also it's there. Um, the finish here I, it is would take me a, It would probably take me a while to drink this bottle if mm -hmm. I had it on my bar, and I probably wouldn't buy it again. I'd be a little if I bought this, I'd be a little disappointed. Really, I'm really digging the probably. finish. It's not bad. Swishing around, I picked up a little bit of that white dog that you're talking about. I'm with you. I have no idea how old it is. They don't say. 
Um, but I, man, do I like the finisher. I think if you want, though, if you wanted to know what Mizanara influence is, this would be a good, have get this and have, and I mean, you're going to get some of those, those sandalwood notes, that, that richer, that different oak influence. It's a very nice creamy finish. That's what I like. I'm not sure I could still necessarily, like if you gave me a bunch of blinds and said two of these have Mizanara oak, I don't think I could pick it out. I bet you could. Really? Yeah. That sounds like a potential blind. I bet you can. All right. All right. Um, uh, now, this was a gift. I think I've seen this, and I believe this is 70 to $80 range, I believe. Yeah, I think I got this for Christmas from my right. spouse. Yeah. Um, Man, I like the finish here. The finish, I just got, again, candied cream soda. Candied cream soda. There's definitely, a, there's not any sherry uh, influence to it. Or if, I mean, if there is, I'm not getting anything like that. Um, yeah. Uh, Patreon shout out. Ooh, we got a big one. We got a $5 Patreon big shout out. Big one. A big one. We just go with the un. A big one. Big one. Big, big one. Big on Patreon. Ready? Patreon, big on. Uh, Gregor McWee. It was the wee part. I had to make sure I had it right. McWee. Gregor's a big supporter. Yeah, and, Gregor. Um, I just, I'm used to just saying Gregor. Gregor? The Mc, McWee, I had to make sure I got right. Yeah. Uh, Gregor was responsible. He hooked us up with, um, uh, not Westland. Mm -hmm. Westland came to mind. He's out in that area. Wander back. Wander back. Sorry about that. No, no, no. You're Hope you're not watching that, Gregor. <laughs> Please. What was He's it? watching. He's watching. He hooked us up. And well, and the fact is, uh, Wander back posted the other night, there's mm. some um, forest fires that are raging up there and was coming close to their their place up there. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Goodness. They're doing they cool were scared. stuff. Yeah. It, 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 well, they were it got diverted up. and actually went away, but they were there was at least one night there. They were mm. pretty scared. Because mm. uh, what they do, one of the magical things they do is they'll go get a cask from another distillery, and then they'll do alchemy with it, and they'll they'll maybe they age it differently, or maybe it goes into another barrel and it gets some kind of finishing to it, or maybe it stays in longer than maybe something would normally stay in. They'll let you know what that is, but I like when people play around with the whiskey. Especially at that level, because now you're getting unique, different things. Um, and they are, they're not tied to saying, oh, it's, you know, they're not trying to recreate the same thing again and again. They're actually looking at experimentation, which is what I like. So, and uh, Gregor did great. He did a uh, little hosting thing, and he was phenomenal. 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 That. What? All right. Uh, thanks to all our Patreon supporters. Woo! Our bread and butter really helps keep the lights on, helps keep the whiskey flowing and the go show to, going. Go to Patreon and then look up Scotch Test Dummies. And if you like what we're doing, throw a bone. Uh, down below the video, you're seeing some t-shirts. Uh, yes. That's our that's our official, t some of our official t-shirts through uh, Teespring. And, and you kind of mix and match. They just show a sampling. Yeah. It's just a sampling. But. Yeah. There's so, more available. When yeah, because I, well, I was looking once and it was a purple shirt. With our Spartan helmet. And I thought, I love the Spartan helmet. Don't know if I like it with the purple, but you can do it whatever way you want. Mm -hmm. I think we need to play with that Spartan helmet. Play with it, we shall. Shall we? Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies.